Hey everyone, welcome to High School Dropouts Advice. Today I want to give you a quick update about eHang. There was some good news, but there were also new challenges rising for eHang. The first news we receive is that eHang made a trial flight over the Yangtze Lake, which was frozen at that time, and it was minus 14 degrees Celsius. It's good for us to see that the drone was working in such a weather condition. eHang has uploaded a video and put the speed on on 10x so you can see how it flies over the lake however it was an unmanned trial flight and i think they made five of those i think it has something to do with the permits it's not so easy to get a permit to fly close to the capital beijing it's maybe comparable that the white house doesn't want a drone flying close to them or above them have a quick look at how far the lake was away from the city center. We can agree that it would be roughly like 40 miles. The lake itself was approximately 5,000 by 3,000 feet. Ehang also had a couple of trial flights in South China at the coastal cities flying over the coast. At this point, we have over 10,000 successful trial flights in over 8 countries. This is all good and nice, but this wouldn't be worth it for me to update you but we receive news from the government which give us an explicit insight in what direction the government wants to lead the government wants to develop a new transportation network by 2035 with a modern high quality intelligent transportation network furthermore guidelines propose the idea of intelligent general aviation applications noting the need to develop urban helicopter transport services and build rapid air traffic networks among urban clusters the guidelines also declare the intention to develop a new generation of air traffic control systems to promote air mobility services such as intelligent air traffic management and airspace management while promoting data sharing. The original was written in Chinese and if someone who can read Chinese can verify if the translation is accurate and let us know in the comments below, this would be an awesome help. I link the shiny source down in the description. Those are huge plans. This means autonomous driving and flying transportations for public and private use. A very important detail we should mention here is that the government wants the air traffic airspace management data to be shared. In other words, a private company can develop the software and the management tools, but those data have to be shared. We can see it in a bad or a good way. But this is a common practice in China where private companies work together with the government. The company might lose some privacy, but they gain a strong ally, investor and business partner. We can take NIO as an example that gets support from the Chinese government. The software to manage those drones and air traffic is not a small deal. It can be an industry by itself. We read that eHang wants to provide this system and software as they say here. The company will expand its self-developed command and control system which centrally controls and dispatches urban air traffic. Please understand that this is a very very huge statement. Please understand the ambition eHang has with this statement. eHang is at the moment a manufacturer for drones but they don't just want to sell drones. They also want to develop software for aerial drone traffic management. They want to manage those heliports by themselves, as they say here. Ehang aims to support building a high quality, comprehensive transportation network in China that is convenient, efficient, green, intelligent, advanced, safe, and reliable. This means Ehang's ambition is not just a drone developer and builder, but 
but also a software developer for aerial traffic management, a developer of drone ports and a network, which can then develop into public transportation via drones. And they want to manage that network all by themselves as well. This is like saying, I will not just build cars, but I will also build the GPS navigation system. Then I build a taxi network, which I manage. Having such big ambition is good, but we need to see that eHang raises more money, acquires other companies in that area, partner with big companies, get some investment or deals with the government to realize those ambitious plans. I can show you Uber. Uber Elevate did work with NASA for a system for the future's air transport. This was back in 2019. It has its challenges and it's not so easy to do. We don't even have autonomous driving level 5 in vehicles yet, which drives in two dimensions. And eHang unofficially announces they will tackle aerial vehicles problem in 3D. But I'm actually not pessimistic here, because Uber later partners up with a relatively small company called Hidden Level to tackle this problem. This company is not very large, it only has 16 employees according to LinkedIn. For sure, the next couple of years for eHang and us eHang investors will be very exciting. eHang has ambitious plan and Every company is starting from zero. Important for us is to see how well eHang can develop in those other areas. The faster and better they can conquer those areas, the more option and more roles eHang has in developing aerial transportation. It won't be drones alone, but also software, logistic, infrastructure, management, and maybe even public transportation. These are big shoes to fill, but this also also shows how much room there is for eHang and other drone companies to grow. Anyway, for legal reason, I have to say I'm not a financial advisor, so remember, your money is your responsibility. I'm just a guy on YouTube. Anyways, I hope you could learn something, and if you did, then don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Many thanks, see you hopefully in the next video. Thank you, bye.